Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into the second ever LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar. And this is the 2020 Advent Calendar. This is set number 75981, and this will be available on September the 1st for $39.99 USD and $49.99 Canadian. I got this early from Walmart thanks to my friend Sensei Stealth, which I have linked down below. And I'm so excited about this. I There's some really cool stuff inside here, so I'm really excited to open it on up. And I'm gonna do it right this time. I'm actually gonna pay attention to what I'm cutting and not just cutting to cut. So that one and this side here. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's really nice with the Christmas tree in the Great Hall. That looks really awesome. I think that looks great. So let's go ahead and let's let's open up each day. So number one, we of course have Harry here. Here's Harry in his Yule Ball outfit. And this is the exact same figure from the Clock Tower from the year before. And it's just... I don't know, I just wish that it was a variant, at least. I, you know, when they're sitting down with the twins in one of the scenes, both uh, Ron and Harry have their blazers off, so I just think it would have been really cool if uh, this wasn't an exclusive variant to the set, but uh, it's okay. I, I'm just worried about what that means for next year if uh, they're just going to reuse figures from the year before. It's just strange to be getting Yule Ball figures this year, but on the back he does have this upset expression, and he also comes with this side table build, which is pretty cool with a little candle there, but the best part, one of the best parts, honestly, in the whole advent calendar, I think, is... Okay, very hard to get off. We'll just pretend that that came off really easily. Is this Yule Ball two by three uh like poster it looks so awesome there with like uh the little figures dancing there just the hogwarts castle in the back and the printing there that says the weird sisters so that's that's pretty cool i i love this i, I think that's a really cool two by three print day number two a little mini Hogwarts build and I and here is the micro scale version of Hogwarts and I think that's pretty cool this this looks great honestly I I don't know what part of the castle this is meant to be part of me thinks that this is kind of meant to be like the great hall with the tower and then you've also got like the part that came in the Whomping Willow I don't really know but be interesting to see if like next year they kind of just keep expanding these little micro builds of Hogwarts I think that'd be cool day number three is up here and that has, oh, it's the the ship. Here is the Durmstram ship, and this looks awesome. I wish that this was a real set. I think that, uh, I don't know, I just it's just such a cool and unique design. I hope that at some point they go back and make this so that we could have, like, uh, how they got to Hogwarts in a set as well. I know there was the old set, but it would be great to have a remake. And this little micro build looks pretty good. Day number four. Bull Batten's carriage and this is just so cool looking I think that uh, they really just captured the whole sort of carriage build there but then even the horse the the Pegasus sorry looks really awesome I think that's that's so cool I I really love this build it looks incredible Number five. literally did couldn't find day number five I don't know what that was but uh, oh we got Cho she looks so great here. I love the design of Cho's dress here. It looks so incredible. The colors here just look great. And uh, the hairpiece works really well, I think, for her from that scene. And taking off the hairpiece, you could see that on the back, she does have this sad expression, I guess, because she couldn't go with Harry. Uh, but I love the back printing as well. That looks really great. And this is the same face print from the accessory pack that was introduced this year. Day number six. It's just so distracting. I don't know what it is, the colors and everything. Ah, uh, the, uh, the Goblet of Fire. And here's a Goblet of Fire build! <laughs> I, just, yeah, I love that overacting in that scene the with Dumbledore yelling at Harry. I, I My goodness. Uh, yeah, this is great. I, I think that this looks great. I'm surprised, you know, the one the year before that we got in the actual Clock Tower is so lackluster compared to this. This looks so, so great. Number seven, the record player, I think. Here's this record player, and this just looks incredible. I love the design there for, like, the speaker, the, the megaphone. I don't know anything about, like, that sort of music and stuff, but it just looks so great. I, I love the colors and everything in this and just the, the, 
the uniqueness of this build. Day number eight. Couch with golden egg on it. You do get a couch included in here. I guess this is meant to be from like maybe the Gryffindor quarters or something, but uh, it's cool. I like the design of the couch. And you also get the golden egg from the Hungarian Horntail set. So that's really awesome. And that accessory was actually in our CMF series too. So it's cool to get a second. Number nine. Table. You also get this little table, and uh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't know if you're just meant to put something on top there, but uh, it's still pretty, pretty, it's, it's a good build, I think. Number 10. Is this the same as the other advent counter? We got Ron here. And here is Ron, and he looks so great, minus the hair. I think they could have used uh, the, the other hair piece that... Uh, we used in the series, which has now been used by his mom. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I think that the torso is just so great looking. But again, just wish that it was him without the blazer. Just would have been a cool variant for this. On the back of his face, he does have this sort of unimpressed, upset expression. Day number 11. It's a chimney, uh, a fireplace. So these are window builds, and uh, I, I think that this is pretty interesting with like some Christmas decorations there for the Yule Ball, and uh, you got like a cup or something there, or, like a little glass, so it is the exact same as the other advent calendar. That's really interesting. I forgot they did that. And then we've got, what is that? And I really like the stocking at the top. That looks really cool. And the fire build in the back is pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I think that this is cool. And what you can do, of course, is attach it to the other build like that. Number 13. Noticing that there's just so many more pieces in this. Like they're getting stuck on the way out compared to the Star Wars one. This Christmas tree. Next, we get one of the Christmas trees. And uh, this is like, I guess, the main one. And you could see it like, I guess that's what's on the background for the advent calendar. It looks, it looks really cool. I love the design of it with the transparent pieces. Um, in light blue as well as uh, clear. That looks really cool. And uh, as someone who's gotten a lot of city advent calendars over the years, they've really perfected the design of the Lego Christmas tree here. It's great. They did it last year and then I used it for my custom advent calendars. And uh, this is just really great. I love that they brought it back for this year. Number 14. Same thing that I, same thing as before. This little wall built. So here's the other windowsill, and this has a chocolate frog, which is great to get in another set. And then what you do is you connect it like that, and you could have a little display. Just, I, I really like that, adding a little background. I think this is really awesome. Day number 15. One of the twins. Here is Padma Patel, and she looks great. I love just the salmon. Love the salmon with the hot pink. It looks so cool. And this is just so great. I, I really just love... Uh, the bindi on her face as well. That looks so cool. I love the face printing and uh, just overall, I think that this figure is just so great looking and uh, such a, I love the advent calendars for giving us obscure characters like this, like ones that weren't in other sets. And it's just such a, not necessarily obscure, obscure might not be the right word, but just, you know, figures that didn't get a chance to be in the set last year. So I think that this is really cool to kind of cap off the whole Yule Ball. Number 16. More Christmas trees. You also get two Christmas trees here, and uh, the, these look pretty cool, honestly. Uh, just little mini ones to go along with uh, the larger one. 17. Got a piano. Here's this grand piano build, and I like, uh, I like the silver legs. That looks pretty cool with the dark gray. Um, and everything, but uh, I like the keyboard build. The that print on the one by four looks really awesome. I do just wish that it kind of had some music sheets or something. I think that would have been really cool to get as well. Number eighteen. Ooh, like a table. Here is half a table, and uh, I really like the the transparent pieces there for like an ice sculpture or something. That looks so cool, and uh, just the decorations and everything on here looks great. And you've got some other colored cups. Um, but I think this is uh, this is pretty cool. 19. We have the other one. 
And here is Pavarti Patel, and she looks awesome as well. Her dress is actually inverted when you uh, compare it to her sister. So I really like that. I like that. Just it looks so great, the two of them next to each other. And the two face prints, I think, just work really well. Um, of course, just I think that it's fine that they're reusing it since they are twins. Uh, but on the back, it looks it looks really good. I really like uh, the back printing as well. And just how it goes right into the one by two tile is a nice touch as well. Number 20. Some more another table with some more food. Here is the second half of the table and you can see that because it has like the pegs there to attach to the other half and uh, you've got some glasses there on this table and this just looks really great. I love the idea of having this sort of a uh, combined build, uh, two combined builds in this advent calendar. I think that's a really nice touch. Number 21. And speaking of sheet music, you do have a little stand here with uh, some music notes and different things there with the treble clef that looks pretty cool. And then you've also got a, a microphone uh, on a stand, which is also pretty awesome. But I guess uh, the music is not for the piano, more for uh, the singer to actually read the lyrics and different things. Number 22, it's getting harder to hold this up. We have Hermione in her dress. Hermione here in her Yule Ball outfit looks great. That hair piece was the exact same that we used as the CMF series. I know I sound like a brokered record, but I didn't think I would ever be having to talk about her again <laughs> in her Yule Ball. Uh, but looks great nonetheless. And uh, on the back of her face, she does have this upset expression, which is pretty fitting for that scene and I just uh, I think that this is a really great looking figure. Number 23 with some Christmas presents. Here are the Christmas presents and I love that these are all in one day. It's really really awesome. So you get three presents here, one for Ravenclaw, one for Hufflepuff and one for Slytherin in their house colors which is just really great looking. And then you've got this here which is meant to be the Firebolt broom and this is actually meant to be the gift from uh, Sirius. So that's really awesome. I love the letter attached there and everything that's really cool. And I just love that it's in the Gryffindor color. Day number 24 is the Tri Wizard Cup. And here is, to me, one of the best builds in the whole set. And this is the brand new Triwizard Cup. They have perfected it here. There can't be a better version than this, I think. They have really outdone themselves here. I love the use of those snake pieces there for the handles. This looks so, so awesome. And uh, I might do a video comparing all three just um, because it's just so great. I, I really think that it's fascinating, just all the three versions that we've gotten of this. So there you have it, everyone. That is the 2020 Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. I think that this is a really solid advent calendar. I probably like this one better than last year's, honestly. I really love just the side builds, and I think some of the micro builds are really fantastic as well, and just the minifigure scale ones are even better, and the presents are awesome. The figures are just so detailed, the brand new ones that we're getting. I'm just really happy with this. I am sad that the Harry and Ron specifically are the exact same from the clock tower but it's okay i still think this is a really solid set but anyways everyone i hope that you did enjoy this video and i hope that you all have a great day i'll see you all in the next one